steps in creating a simple mail merge. Okay, open a Microsoft Office and then choose the block document. And in the mailing tab, click the start mail merge and choose the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. And the pop, um, at the side of that, we will uh, may magpa-pop up and choose the next starting document. Okay, sa upper part, may pagpipilian po doon, use the current document start from a template or start from existing document. Kung meron ka po existing document or letter, pwede mo na po yung piliin. Uh, kung wala naman po, use the current document. Si since wala akong existing, uh, pipiliin ko yung use the current document. Okay? And then, after using the current document, start put na po tayong mag-sulat um, or mag-type ng ating letter. So, the letter will be an example of an invitation. So, if you are using the mail merge, um, it can be used to send uh, in a lot of different recipients. So, mas mapapadali natin yung way of sending ng ating messages doon sa ating mga recipients. So, if we will going to use um, if we will going to use this mail merge wizard. Okay. So, we will just type in our letter here. So, a letter of invitation for example. Okay. We would like to announce and invite you to avail our third quarter promo for which you are qualified and blah blah blah. So, hindi ko na hahabaan yung letter para mas mapabilis tayo. Okay, so at the end, uh, your partner merchandising um, and the uh, name of the company, the Red Dragon Incorporated. Okay. After typing your um, letter, go proceed to the next step, the select recipients. And may pop-up na naman po sa upper part, select recipients. So, may pipilian doon, use an existing list, select the out, uh, from Outlook contacts, type a new list. So, if you have an existing list of the different recipients, click lang po use an existing list. Kung meron kayo sa Outlook contacts, click the Outlook contacts. If none, type a new list tayo. So, just click the type a new list. And then, may magpa-pop up po sa lower part, yung create. So, just click create. And, ayan, magpa-pop up po yung ating wizard dyan. So, title, ano ba mostly ginagamit sa title? So, we have Mr. Mrs. Doc, Doctor, Doctora, so on and so forth. So, just type Mr. Mr. Juan. For example, so hindi ako gagamit ng real name dito. Um, example lang, Juan de la Cruz. And then, yung kanyang company name, for example... Um, ano bang company name? For example, the Yellow Bell. And then, address line 1. Karimitan ang nilalagay sa ating address line 1 yung number ng bahay or number ng building kung saan sila nagtatrabaho. Okay. And address line 2, we have our street. Kalimitan ginagamit sa address line to is yung street, kung saan yung kanilang bahay or yung kanilang company na padadalahan natin ng letter. Kung saan natin ipapadala yung letter. And we have the city, after line, uh, address line 2. City, for example, um, Quezon City, Las Pinas, Manlaluyong, uh, so on. So, since hindi naman ako gumagamit ng real uh, person here, hula na lang tayo, gawagawa na lang tayo. 
So if we have uh, if we want to delete the entry kung ayaw natin siyang kunwari for, uh, for example na realize natin na ah hindi nat may may mali dun sa entry natin. So delete entry tayo automatically po. Ayan, lalabas delete this entry. Yes. So mawawala po lahat ng entry na nilagay natin. So if we want to delete some columns here para uh, medyo mabawasan yung ating entry, punta tayo sa customize columns. And then, i-click natin yung mga column doon na hindi na natin kailangan lagyan ng entry. For example, the zip, zip code, delete natin yan. And then, yung country and region, delete natin. And then, uh, work phone, delete natin. And phone, uh, home phone, delete natin, or work phone. And yung state, delete natin, hindi naman na natin kailangan yan. So, ang kailangan lang natin, title, first name, last name, company name, address line 1, address line 2, and city, tsaka yung kanyang email address. So, yun lang naman kalimitan ng ating kinakailangan. So, just type in lang again. For example, Mr. Juan de la Cruz. Ayan yung kanyang company. So, siguro dito sa ating example, dalawa lang ang ating ipapakita para mas mabilis tayo. Pero katulad ng sinabi ko nung umpisa, ang mail merge ay ginagamit para makapag-send tayo ng isahang type ng letter tapos maisi-send natin into um, different recipients. So, kahit lima yan, sampu yan, yung pagsisenda natin, pwedeng-pwede po natin yan masend. Iisa lang yung body ng message, tapos iba-iba yung recipient, gagamit tayo ng mail merge para mas mapapadali po ang ating way of sending the invitation letter. Or um, ginagamit na rin ito sa pag-create ng certificate like yung inyong mga diploma. So, di ba sa diploma, iisa lang yung ating... Um, Iisa lang yung body, yung body nung diploma natin, yung nilalaman. Then, magkakaiba-iba lang yung pangalan. So, kaya ginagamit ng ating mga coordinators na nagpiprint ng ating data, ah, ng ating diploma ay mail merge. Kung saan, iniinsertan lang nila ng merge field na pangalan ninyo, last name and, uh, first name and last name ninyo. Para mas mapadali yung printing ng inyong mga diploma. Okay, so second natin, si Ms. Jean Cabral. So, ang kanyang office is, for example, Orange Taco. Address line 1 is 113. And address line 2, for example, Quezon City. A address line 2, for example, Malonggay Street. Ayan. And then, the city is Quezon City. And syempre, yung email address niya. Email address, for example, Jean Cabral 0008. Okay. And click OK if you're done. And magpa-pop up po yung save as... Uh, button dyan. Kailangan isave natin yung ating data list sa ating document. So, always choose documents para mas mabilis natin makikita yung ating um, ayan, data list. Invitation. Ayan. So, after saving that, ayan, makikita po natin dyan na may check yung dalawa. Pag may nakita po tayong check, ibig sabihin, mai-include sila dun sa pagsesenda natin. So, if we don't want to, for example, yung number one, si Mr. De La Cruz, hindi natin siya isasama dun sa sesendan. Click lang natin yung check, mawawala yan. Pag nawala yan, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya masesenda ng email. Hindi na siya masasama dun. So, ngayon, ibabalik ko lang yung check kasi dalawa lang silang example para makita natin yung differences dun sa sinasabi natin. So, after that, click Write your letter. Next, write your letter. So, since we have letters na there, just click lang ulit yung next. Step number five. Uh, number five is insert merge field tayo. So, insert merge field. Click natin yan. Then, i-click lang po natin yung cursor key natin. Kailangan nandun sa place kung saan natin i-insert yung mga uh, field. 
For example, nasa ba nakalagay yung address, yung uh, company, and so on and so forth. So, in inserting data, uh, inserting the merge field, we need to put our cursor key on the um, kung saan natin ilalagay yung mga fields na kailangan natin doon sa certain uh, letter. Di ba? Uh, date, anong susunod doon? Company name, then enter lang natin. Then, syempre, di ba, nandun din papalo yung kanyang, saan yung address, address line 1. Siguro, ipagtabi na natin yung address line number 2. And then, enter. And then, address, ah, city. Okay, and then, the email address. Okay. And then, sa dear, di ba, kalimitan nilalagay natin sa dear is, yung kanyang title, Mr. Mrs. Space, uh, merge field again, first name, space, and then yung last name. Okay. So, after in, uh, after natin ma-insert yung merge field, next step na tayo, which is preview your letter. When we preview the letter, automatically, yung nilagay natin sa ating data list, yun na po yung lalabas. Okay, so di ba si Mr. Juan de la Cruz, Yellow Bell, Mahogany Street, Mandaluyong. If we take a look dun sa pangalawa, sa senda na pangalawa, di ba nagpalit? Dear Miss Jean Cabral, so ito na yung kanyang address. So kaya naman sabi natin, ang mail merge po ay magagamit natin if we need to send the same body message in the different recipients. So yun, napapadali niya yung ating pag-send ng mga invitation dun sa mga iba't ibang recipients. And, uh, pangalawa, yun nga katulad ng sabi natin kanina, pwede natin siya magamit pag-print ng mga certification like yung mga um, diploma ninyo na iisa lang yung body ng mess, iisa lang yung body ng letter. Ang magkakaiba lang yung recipient, yung pangalan. So, after that, uh, complete, mer complete the merge. And then, pag na-print na, ano na natin yung complete the merge na yon pwede rin natin ditong pagpilian kung print. Kung print siya, magpiprint siya automatically, individually, sa kung sino-sino yun nandun sa data list mo. Pwede rin naman po itong option na to, finish and merge. Yan, i-edit individual documents, print documents. Again, pag print documents, magpiprint siya na automatically mag-iiba-iba yung details na meron dito. And... Pwede rin pong send email uh, messages. Pag sinend natin siya individually doon sa mga email address na nakalagay, automatically magsisend yan and magka, magsisend yan base doon sa merge field na nakalagay sa kanila. So that's all for our mail merge topic. Thank you!